I thought I knew a lot about foxes. I mean, they're pretty common, they're found all around the world, and I even get them in my backyard. But then I set these camera traps this winter, and I got this crazy fox behaviors that I'd never seen before. This was a really cool place. It's called Thatcher State Park, it's in upstate New York, and it's got these amazing cliffs. And as I was walking around along the ledges in the snow, I saw all kinds of animal footprints. So I got special permission from the park to set cameras along these cliff sides, and I got some crazy footage. Check it out, it's gonna be wild. I got all this footage of foxes, some of which I couldn't really understand. I didn't really understand what was going on. So I invited my buddy Mike Cove, who's a mammal expert, to help me uh, understand what's going on in these clips. All right, cool. Let's see if I know what the fox says. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Have you ever heard foxes make that noise before? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it sounds like a woman screaming, right? Yeah. This is winter. It could be fox mating season. Oh, yeah. Right? Sure. Mating call, or again, it could be defending their territory, but let's hear it again. <coughs> this time of year, it's not like it would be a mother, like, no. calling for her young yeah. or anything like that. So it, it must be, yeah, mating or territorial. Okay. But let's see. But maybe not surprising then, maybe it could be connected with the time of year and yeah. be related to either, either defending the territory from a competing male that might be coming in or yeah. trying to call in a vixen. Yeah, exactly. The next, we've got a gray fox. Oh, nice. Yeah. Not very common up there, right? No, uh, not as common, but they're, they're there. Yeah. But what I noticed was 11 minutes later, look oh, at this yeah. red fox come by. Oh, very cool. Sticks his nose right, yeah. in, the, right in the footprint. You see yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, watch, yeah. Watch yeah. this footprint thing again. So here, here comes the gray fox. Mm -hmm. Leaving fresh tracks. Yeah. Boom. Yeah, it's a, He's smelling them, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's really interesting. Canids and, and all carnivores have scent glands all over their bodies, and they do have some in their feet. Oh, okay. That, so that, that's what I would assume is happening there, that they're smelling the other species. Same night. Uh-huh. Is it, Are these all close together that this could be... Nine minutes later, yeah. So this is they're like... up and down the cliff. So this is like one fox, and that same red fox is following Exactly, them. yeah. And this red fox could be confused as to uh, what mate he's looking for. No. <laughs> you think it's a, a horny, a horny red fox? It's like, well, this is close. Well, the thing is, they're not that close, they're not right? Close. Yeah. So, like, I got lots of this red fox, and it mm -hmm. seemed like the gray fox just showed up for a couple nights, and the mm -hmm. red fox was like on him. So maybe he scared him away. Oh, could be. Could very well be, yeah. Maybe maybe like, like okay, there's red foxes and gray foxes out there in the environment, but like the cliff, the red fox claims, and mm -hmm. the gray fox has got to go use some other area. Well, could be just a male out looking for mates and not finding any, yeah. and this red fox is pushing him out. What's going on? So, let's see. So yeah, this is courtship. She doesn't look very interested. I think he's he's trying to present himself and wait her out. They're doing almost like a little dance here. Yeah, the ma the male, right? Look yeah. at him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're communicating. I think it's you know first date. First date. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of a rough first date. Yeah. So do you think she's showing interest, or is she like? It just sounds like leave me alone. It's interesting because I find that a lot of carnivores, you know, carnivores are largely solitary, right? Many carnivores are largely solitary. And I find that the females are often pretty apprehensive and defensive to start. And then the males kind of will hang out. And, and in a, a species like foxes, the male, there's not a lot of sexual dimorphism, right? The, the, the males and females are close to the yeah. same size enough that he's got to kind of wait it out and buy his time. And, and they're kind of courting. It's kind of this unique interaction. I, so, I thought, so he's standing up and on his hind legs a lot, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And, and I, I'm noticing like his, he's got these black socks. Yeah. And it'll, uh, do you think that's some kind of display? Like it almost seems like he's showing off oh, interesting. His, uh, his feet. Watch, he'll do it again here. Because like, why do they have, look at this, up on his hind feet. Yeah, <laughs> look at his hand. Yeah, that's interesting. That's really cool. But you know, I, I mean, think about it. This is, uh, this is the law of the wild, right? The, the strongest, the, you, want, you want the biggest and best and strongest mate. 
And oh, so she, you think she's testing him? I think she's testing him, yeah. Like, are you strong enough to hang out in the snowstorm and yeah, wake me out? Yeah, yeah. It looks... Oh, he's humping another fox <laughs> off camera. <laughs> <laughs> Probably something. So the other thing to remember is, you know, carnivores go through an estrus cycle, so she might not be receptive until she's really ready to... Not tonight, but maybe tomorrow night. I think he's going to be in this long waiting game. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Still not giving up. All right. Do you know the gestation length of a, yeah. of a fox? Is it 50 days? It's about 50 <laughs> days. And look what I got 50 days later. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, yeah. Yeah, so that's those are my crazy fox videos. That's uh, some cool courtship. I've never seen anything like I've that. I've never seen that in person, certainly not. And I've never been lucky enough to get it on camera. Right, but this this kind of stuff is happening out there yeah. all the time, right? Yeah, yeah. With wild animals no, and just never actually catch it on film. Yeah. So cool. Thanks for watching this episode of Wild Animals. I've got lots more footage from these cliffs and a whole lot more going on. So be sure to subscribe. It's gonna be wild.